Hey, good morning friends, it's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. Sunday morning, 6.30, uh, so Silky Smooth Sunday time. Hope everybody's doing pretty well. I am uh, good, had a good weekend so far. Uh, gotta get ready for church, so let's get shaving. Um, two and a half days of growth. And uh, yeah, so what are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna shave and we're gonna go uh, CJB Kamasori Feather Professional Blade First Use. It's August, so that means Arco August is in effect. We're going to be using the Arco uh, Extra Performance Cream. Got a little dollop of it in the Custom Iceman Bowl. For the post, we'll be using Soap Commander Endurance and Old Spice. And then for the head shave portion, of course. Head blade ATX and little Tim's mahogany lavender. All right, so let's get cracking. With the face, I'm fresh out of the shower, so my beard should be pretty hydrated. I almost forgot for the brush, custom ice man bore brush. We're still trying to get this guy broken in, so let's see. Oh, cool. out of focus there. Maybe this camera's dirty. I don't know. So, uh, got my new phone in. And I'm trying something a little different with the setup. Because, you guys know, my camera likes to fall off of the... Uh, off of the mirror in the GPS mount. And uh, I don't want to break my new phone. So, I've got a tripod actually standing in my sink right now I'm trying to avoid breaking the new phone um, at least you know so soon so anyway so we're just whipping up a quick little lather here it's going pretty well Need a little bit more water in there If you haven't used the Arco creams, they're pretty good. Um, some people don't like them as much as the stick. I think they're, personally, I think they're relatively equal. Um, maybe the stick is just a little bit slicker because it's a tallow base soap, but look at that leather. Not bad at all. So I'm still trying to break this brush in. I've used it a few times off camera. It's still a little bit of a soap eater, but it's not shedding as much as it, ha uh, as it has when I first got it, if at all, really. I think the last time I used it, I didn't notice any hairs come out, so it's getting it's getting better. I'm still a little thick there. So, dry off the old hands. Wet the blade and let's go. Okay. 
way it feels a little On the first couple strokes, the blade didn't feel like it was cutting real well. And I have had a dead blade out of that particular package of feathers. So. Yeah. Better. There's a hair. Spoke too soon about the brush stopping shedding. There you go. Not bad. Um, that blade, like I said, that blade feels wonky. Almost like it's dull. Which I don't know how it could be dull, it's brand new, but this is the second blade. The first blade I got out of that pack that was didn't it didn't shave at all. And that was the first time I'd ever had that happen. I was, I was just confused. I thought I would maybe put the blade in upside down or something, but wasn't the case. Who was it? I said, who? Somebody did that in one of their videos, which I thought was kind of hilarious. So, we get a little break from the heat this weekend here in Texas. We got some rain yesterday afternoon. 
and it's still raining this morning so pretty excited about that <clears throat> So, you guys know I posted on Monday I was having some stomach problems. It's getting better, not 100% better yet. But we're still, gosh, I feel like I missed a whole patch right there. Not 100% better, but getting better. Um, so, thanks everybody for the well wishes and the prayers. Uh, I am on the mend. All right, guys, I'm going to change tactics because this blade just didn't work for me. And it is not in there upside down. So let me swap out razors. Give me just a second. I'm going to step off camera. So we're switching tactics here. I'm gonna to switch to the Equinox uh, stainless steel. <sighs> and I'm just gonna grab a blade from the sample pack here. Looks like it's gonna be a Wilkinson Sword Black. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's weird. It's the second time that's happened to me with one of those uh, uh, feather professional blades. I don't know if maybe I came out of the dispenser wonky and dulled it that way or what, but it's just not shaving very well, so I ain't gonna mess with it anymore. First pass wasn't terrible, but like I said, it was a little tuggy. Felt like I was really missing spots, so. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't fighting with it. So let's get on with the second pass, different razor. I've got to figure out a way to organize my razors. It's a mess in there. I was actually looking for, oops, my classic samurai. Hadn't used that one in a while, but apparently it's buried under a bunch of other razors. So um, I gotta spend some time and some money Trying to figure out a solution. All right, second pass.
kill myself right there, I think. It's awkward with the uh, tripod in the sink. Another hair. I said spoke too soon. Anyway, it's awkward with the hair in the sink, or not the hair. The, uh, <clears throat> with the tripod in the sink is what I'm trying to say for the third time, because I, I can't get to the, uh, the faucets, the knobs. I'm worried that when I rinse the blade or, uh, you know, go into the sink, that I'm going to hit the leg. Knock the camera over, knock it out of focus. The other thing that's a little weird is the camera is closer. So I'll, I'll probably, when I lean in to look into the mirror, probably get a really close up view. Shave's not going super fantastic at all. All right, second pass. Much better. Even think I got a little irritation from that first pass because of the blade being kind of wonky. All right, last pass. So I like these Arco creams. They are. You know, now that I'm actually paying attention, because someone mentioned it in one of the comments, they are not as slick. They don't have as much residual slickness as the stick. But, I mean, it's a nice cream. They're nice creams. I like them. All right. Last pass, and then on to the head shave. Can you guys hear the news? <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh, I think I just got myself again. This shave is not going well, friends. Yep. <sighs> I should have quit while I was ahead. <laughs> Gosh, I can almost get all the way across. Getting close. Because that's really the stroke <clears throat> that I need to get this chin area. It's the corner of the blade that's been getting me during the shave. I'm not paying as much attention as I should be. I'm gonna rinse off. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put some alum because I know it's gonna hurt. Mm. Yeah, a lot of little scratches and nicks on this one, guys. night yeah not a not a fantastic shave today but what you gonna do right it's smooth enough just had a few scrapes and nicks all right so on to the head shave I've actually got maybe enough to do one pass so we'll see. Did have the little Tim's blooming, you guys saw that. So we'll just use that bloom water because my head's been drying out since I've been shaving the face. But I wanted to show you guys look, I almost at the ring of death stage. That, that tub is getting close to the end of days. Alright, let's see if I can get at least one pass out of this Arco. If not, I'll hit the little Tim's. I think that's what's going to have to happen. Gosh, I don't know, man. It's quiet, quiet morning this morning. I don't have much to talk about. Been still kind of feeling sick all week. Nothing super serious. As I said, I'm on the bend. Still not 100%. I'm hoping that <clears throat> changes. Um, if not, I'll call the doctor. Like I said, you guys have heard me talk about it before. I had cancer in my stomach area or tumors in my stomach area. It wasn't really stomach cancer. So anytime I get a little bit of the gut rot, my gut rot's normal for me. I mean, it's not anything that's unusual because of all the problems I had in my intestines and whatnot. 
I've got scar tissue and the strictures and all that kind of stuff. So having an upset stomach is something that's not unusual for me. But I always tend to get a little nervous, I'll be the first to admit, when it lasts more than a few days. Because usually if it's a bug or a virus or whatever, you know, two, three, four days, tops. But once we start getting into five, six, seven, my mind starts playing tricks. I mean, I know, I mean, statistically, yeah, it could be something, something more. It could be a million things, I mean. You know, you got miles and miles of intestine and structures in your gut, all different kinds of organs that can cause vague symptoms like bloating and nausea and discomfort after meals. So, I mean, but of course, my mind always goes to, hey, what if the cancer's back? It's just kind of something that I live with and, you know, whatever happens, happens. I'm a, a big believer in, you know, in that. It's, it happens for whatever reason. And ultimately, it's beyond my control because <laughs> if there's something growing in there, it's growing and I can't stop it. So, but like I said, I get a little nervous if it lasts for more than a few days. So I'll probably end up having to check in with a doc if it doesn't completely clear up. Probably by midweek, under next week. Um, I try not to jump the gun because depending on which doctor I call, it becomes a big hassle. Like if I call my regular doctor, he's a very he's a great practitioner. He can take. Sometimes it can take quite a while to get in to see him. So, I mean, I could potentially be dealing with this for a month, you know, until I can get in to see him. And he's a very good doctor. He's very conservative. So he's not gonna, you know, rush right out and order a bunch of expensive tests and blood work and all that kind of stuff, which I respect because he knows what's up. Um, he knows what's up as far as like uh, the cost of medicine and the likelihood of things. And so um, I enjoy his conservative nature. And like I said, he practices. I've had several doctors who, when they find out, specialists, who when they find out who my primary doctor is, they always compliment him and say he practices at a very high level. Um, and that's why I stick with him because, gosh, I've been seeing him for a long, long time now. And even though it takes forever to get in to see him, every visit is worth it. So, um, so like I said, if I go see him, it'll be a pretty conservative approach, which is oh, I don't really believe, which is okay with me. Um, or I can call my oncologist and all I have to do is call her office and say hey I'm having some stomach problems and probably within 24 to 48 hours I'll have orders for lab work a chest and abdomen cat scan and then an appointment follow-up appointment in a week or two to get the results because she doesn't give any results over the phone good or bad I have to go see her so I could do that, jump the gun, get excited for probably nothing, and uh, get it, you know, examined really quickly. Which I've done that in the past, and it's gosh, it's such a hassle because it just one, it's a hassle driving, getting all the tests, and paying for all the tests, and all that good stuff. And then that really kind of plays tricks with my head even more so because like now I've got, I've got tests pending that may give me bad news for the, you know, so 
But once again, ultimately I got no control over it. So I'm just gonna give my body a little bit more time, see what happens, and then we'll take the next step. I just have to decide which doctor I'm gonna call. Yeah, uh, so I'm doing this head shave, and this head shave is going beautifully. I had enough Arco for the first pass. I had to add a little, a little bit of the little Tim's for the second pass, just because, mostly because I want to use it up. But I, I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm kind of a bloody mess. That one is bleeding a lot worse than I thought it would. And I've got that little nicker over there. And the little nicks. The first few nicks I had are pretty much resolved. But this one may take some boo-boo juice. Uh, gosh, it's always such a hassle to get behind the ears. Any of you head shavers have that problem? Got any good techniques? Because I can't. I always just struggle with it. And then even, <laughs> even after I'm done with the shave, I'll reach back there and have to come back and touch it up. All right, it's good enough for now. Let me get rinsed off. <laughs> Here. All right, and that is the Silky Smooth Sunday Shave. Let's see, head is fantastic, face is bleeding. So, we're gonna get the boo boo juice out. Boober juice is done. Rub it in. Mm. Thought maybe the alum would stop it, but I guess I was wrong. All right, let's get on to the post because things are getting long and winded. Sorry I didn't have much to talk about today, guys. I'm sure you're pretty happy about that. Not a lot of yapping going on. Got to be careful with the old spice. It can be a strong scent. Not a bad scent, but it can be strong and, you know, in a group of people, someone may find it offensive. Okay, so there's that. Um, dry, give that a second to dry, because I caught the vapors. All right.